the union subtract and intersect bodies tools are very very useful especially when dealing with more complex design or multi-body design so when you have more than one or multiple bodies within a, a single design so to take a look at the use of these tools let's first take a look at this kind of shape design here like a plastic meshing or netting here for an enclosure we can see it's a fairly complex shape. It's kind of revolved and extruded and curved in some kind of complex ways and shapes. It would be difficult to try and design this just using extrudes, revolves, lofts, or sweeps, or anything else we've learned up until this point. But what we can actually do is use the union, subtract, and intersect bodies commands to use combinations of designs. So, how this part was actually created was a fairly simple process. So, to create that more complex body, it was actually generated by two fairly simple bodies. You just have this white shape here, which is just a very simple extrude, as we can see. And then we have this red shape here, which is actually a revolved body. And, as we can see, the combination or the intersection of these two points should generate that more complex design we just saw. So let's take a look at using the intersect command. If I go into tools, I have union, subtract, and intersect. So union, of course, would just combine these two bodies. Subtract would subtract one body from the other. And intersect would show the intersection between these two bodies. So in this case, let's try intersect. And grab the white body. And tap next. And then select any other bodies that we'd like to intersect. In this case, the red body. Notice you can choose multiple bodies. In this case, fairly simple, just two unique bodies here. And tap done. And now we can see we find the intersection of these two bodies have created a much more complex body. The subtract tool works in a very similar manner. So jumping back to our bracket component we had here, I probably want to subtract this body from this body to create a whole cutout and again this body from that same body to create my slot cutout. So to do this I'll just go into my tools, subtract, and first it's going to ask me to select the bodies or groups to remove or subtract from. So that would be my main body here. And tap next. And now select the bodies or groups to remove or subtract. And I can actually select multiple bodies at a time here. So I can select my body here, that would be my hole cutout, and my body here, that would be my keyway slot cutout. And tap done. And now I can see that those two bodies have been subtracted from my original body, and that has created a, a hole cutout here, as well as my slot cutout at the top here. A better example of where union may be more useful for us is again going back to our initial bracket design. In the end, maybe we'd like this to be one solid body or one solid part, as it most likely would be in the real world. We'll see that things such as applying fillets or chamfers on specific edges and things like that, we may actually require this to be a single body rather than four unique bodies. So for example, if I wanted to fillet this edge right here, I'm going to see that it's not exactly doing what I'm looking for, as right now these are two unique bodies and not just one part. So now let's take a look at combining these bodies using the union tool. So we'll go into tools, union, and in this case, I want all four of my bodies here 
to combine to create one body or one shape. Tap done. And now notice if I double tap anywhere, it's going to grab this entire design. Again, why this is important is now taking a look at my edge here, I should be able to apply a proper fillet or chamfer as this is all one solid body and not multiple unique parts. In the next lesson, we'll take a look at importing images, which can be a great first step in starting off your designs.